Hey guys, Travis here with something a little different for the gear grind this week. I've got some brand new stuff from us, AT3 Tactical. Wanted to take some time this week to show our new barrels and get some feedback on where we take this product line and better suit your needs. I've got a mix of AR-15 barrels on the table here and on this rifle, and these are all AT3 Tactical AR-15 barrels made in the USA, just got them in the last couple of weeks. We're working with a trusted OEM, that's Original Equipment Manufacturer here in the US, to get this initial offering out there and at a very reasonable price compared to some of the bigger names in the barrel game. So we're able to offer these to you at a lower price, still offering great quality, and we're backing these with our AT3 lifetime warranty. And since I'm talking about just one set of products today, this video might actually be less than five minutes. So as always, let's put these up against our five Fs for AR gear fit, feel, form, function, and features. Let's roll. Right now, we're offering these barrels in good old 5.56 NATO, as well as 300 Blackout if you wanna try going for a beefier caliber. You can also get these in 16 inch and 10 and half inch varieties currently. We'll talk later about additional lengths and calibers in the works. So feel, depending on which barrel you pick, this is gonna be different depending on your desired build. In 5.56, you've got both government and pencil profile barrels. Neither of which are too heavy, but the pencil is definitely going to feel lighter, make your rifle more pointable, easier in the hand. For 300 Blackout, it's a more consistent taper with enough mass to ensure rigidity around the wider bore and to support a suppressor, which should always be a consideration with 300. On to form. The first thing I noticed when I got our first production samples in hand was how damn good these barrels looked. Fit and finish easily on the level with more established brands in the industry. All these barrels are made from 4150 chrome moly vanadium steel, the same stuff the military uses for their barrels, and they all have an even slick black nitride finish. These are all button rifled, have concentric threads, and are right at home on a variety of builds. But how do they work? Function. So, great looks, good specs, lower price than the big boys, but these still have to be worth your hard earned money and these barrels perform. They function reliably with a variety of ammunition, and if you want to tune them for specific ammo, it's very easy to swap buffer weights and dial in for truly great performance. Accuracy is not going to be match grade, but it's easily in line with barrels that are similar in specs at higher price points. Like I said earlier, barrel threads are going to be good for making these suppressor hosts, though I'd stay away from the pencil barrels for that purpose. Pretty much any low mass barrel like that is going to flex downward with a can on and really throw off your point of impact. Go with the government profile. Features. So with a barrel like this, I think the biggest appeal is the price point versus performance ratio. I've hit a few times on the fact that these barrels are good for the cost, but why would you consider one of these? And to me, it's the opportunity to build a rifle you're actually interested in shooting at a time when components are basically always on sale. There's a lot of places, us included, that are doing pretty regular blowout sales right now. We're back in an age where you can snag sub $400 M4 clones, which would be cool if it was like 2005. There's so many cooler, more functional options for a gun build, and the barrel really is the biggest factor in how it's going to feel and function along with your trigger. If you're going to put a gun together, put the one you actually want together, even if it's a spare upper to swap calibers. And now the part of the video that I'm really interested in. We've got some of the basics covered with our fresh batch of offerings. 5.56 and 300 blackout barrels in 10 and a half and 16 inch varieties. But we can do so much more. Do you want to see options for pin and weld builds in 13.9 and 14.5 inch barrels? Do you want to see shorter 300 blackout barrels turned down to six, seven inches long? Nine millimeter barrels for your PCC in any length you need, and even dedicated 22 LR barrels to keep the ammo cost nice and budget friendly. So drop your comments below, I do read them all. In the meantime, here's our entire AR-15 barrels episode over here. If you want to know about twist rate, barrel length, calibers, Randy hits it all in that video. I'll catch you next time on the AT3 Gear Grind. Peace.